So now we are in chapter 9, bab 9 pembetulan ke-8, the last chapter in your form 4. Okay? So in this last chapter is all about kesilapan. You have to know what kind of kesilapan and so that kita boleh betulkan. Right? Betul means to correct the the mistake. Okay? In bab 8 is called pelarasan. Beras, pelarasan is also an adjustment but the adjustment is like something more like um you got hutang lapo and so on so those are the pelarasan tapi for pembetulan kesilapan is something that relate to mistake okay you are the kesilapan you got a mistake and so you have to correct it okay so in this chapter there are two jenis kesilapan one is kesilapan ketara and then the other one is kesilapan tak ketara. Okay, one is ketara and then the other one is tidak ketara. Okay, so for ketara, why are the dua? So for kesilapan ketara ialah imbangan duga yang tidak seimbang. You know what's imbang, imbangan duga, right? Okay, we have done imbangan duga in bab six all right so how do we know if it is a kesilapan ketara ada tidak ketara you look at the imbangan duga okay the jumlah itu jika it is a imbang figure let's say uh 50000 okay on the debit side and then credit side is um this is 30 yeah? and then the credit side is 28,000. So if the duga is not imbang, definitely we know that there's something not right. There must be a mistake. Alright? So from here, we can straight away tell this is a kesilapan ketara because imbangan duga dia tidak seimbang. But what if your imbangan duga imbang? Let's say 30,000 on the debit and then also Credit size is 30,000. See, it is imbangan juga masih imbang, tapi masih ada kesilapan. Uh, then, this is panggil a kesilapan tidak ketara. Okay, so ketara ada lima jenis and then tidak ketara ada enam jenis. Okay, so in your exam, the more important one will be your kesilapan tidak ketara. This part. This is a star. Okay, but then, of course, we still have to know what is the kesilapan uh, ketara lah. Okay, so I'll go through with you one by one. But since uh, the ketara is not so important, so I will just quickly uh, brush through it. Alright, so look at number one. Okay, this is called kesilapan pengiraan semasa menyediakan buku catatan pertama atau leja or imbangan juga. So it can be either buku catatan pertama or leja or imbangan juga. What does it mean? So, here is a contoh kesilapan. Jumlah belian kredit sepatutnya rm ringgit, tetapi direkodkan sebagai rm uh, ribu. You see not? So, if you 10,000 plus 10,000, it should be what? It should be 20,000. But then, here you put 10,000. Maksudnya, there is a kesilapan lah. That's why this is called kesilapan pengiraan. Okay, and this kesilapan is posted to your account balance and hence, ini pun salah. Is it not? So, what is the correct figure and how do we betulkan? So, very simple. So, if uh, you have to do a pembetulan, what you're going to do is, you use your ruler and your pen and potongkan the 10,000 and then you put a signature. Let's say, you are, I'm Wong, okay? So, you just put it Wong, like that. Like a signature be, uh, beside it, All right? So, after you put down, and then you put the correct figure lah. So, here should be 20,000. Then you write 20,000. So, this is how you record for all these kesilapan. So, same goes to your account bullion as well. So, account bullion, because this is 20,000, so when you come to your account bullion, it should be 
20,000 also. So beside here, you can put your signature. Okay, anything. And then here you put the correct one, 20,000. So this is how we will look at the red one. And the red one will be the uh, correct method to record for your kesilapan, the pembetulan kesilapan. All right, so this is your kesilapan pengiraan. Now, next, go to number two. There is a kesilapan bindahan sama ada daripada buku catatan pertama ke dalam leja dan daripada leja ke dalam imbangan duga. So, contoh kesilapan. Jumlah dalam jurnal jualan is 13,800 dipindah ke dalam leja sebagai 1380. So, which one is the betul punya? The betul is 13,800 lah. Which one is salah? The salah one is... Uh, 1380 lah. Okay. So from here, you can see that your journal journal sudah betul. 13800. Tapi, when you pose it to your jualan, you miss out a zero. Can you see or not? It should be 1380. One more zero missing. So, this is a kesilapan lah. This is a mistake. So what you're going to do, do the same thing. Cancel it. Put your signature or your initial. And then below it, put the correct amount. This is your. Are you guys following? If yes, give me an F in the chat box if you're following. Okay. All right. Let's continue. So, you see, it's very simple. And that's why I said this is not, uh, normally it won't be coming out in your exam because it's too simple, straightforward. Okay, next, number three. Merekodkan amount di bahagian yang sama iaitu di bahagian debit atau bahagian kredit sahaja. Meaning, you're recording the same amount debit, debit side, which cannot lah. Because in your bab lima, we did learn about the system, catatan bergu. What system catatan bergu? Meaning, when you debit an account, we must credit another account. We cannot debit debit atau credit credit. So contoh kesilapan. Pemilik membawa masuk kenderaan berjumlah lima ribu ringgit untuk kegunaan pejabat. So by right, okay, kita patutnya debit apa? Because you bawa masuk kenderaan, so kenderaan masuk masuk means debit. So you debit your kenderaan. 5,000. Okay, if you debit, kita mesti credit. So, another one we must credit. You bawa masuk. Bawa masuk is a keyword for modal. Pertambah. So, you credit your modal. 5,000. Okay. But then in this question, what is the problem? What is the problem? You They go and debit kenderaan and debit modal again, which is wrong. They said this is called uh, amount di bagian yang sama debit atau credit sahaja. So in this case is dalam debit saja. So what you're gonna do is same thing. You potongkan the wrong one. This is the wrong one, okay? And then you put your signature again, okay? And then why do we need to put a signature? Signature is to show to prove that we let's say Wong is the accountant. So Wong is the one that is responsible to change, to make the amendment, to prepare this report. So if Wong make changes, Wong have to sign. So that later, if you want to check back, then we know, oh, siapa yang sign binya. You know what I mean? And signature is also a proof that uh, the, the higher authority or your manager or your senior manager has already approved these changes, something like that. Okay, so this is the signature is like a, 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 a symbol. Okay, so now after you potongkan and you put your signature, then you put the correct one. Lah. So it will be on the credit side. So you just write back March 5. So here you have to credit account kenderaan. How much? 5,000. This is how you record for this kind of uh, error. So you can see that 
all the error that we saw just now, all the mistake, all the kesilapan that kita uh, nampak tadi, is when we bought pembetulan, we only bought like for one site or one account. You see, not? like here we only make changes on account more now. Okay, only one account. And then in here, we only make changes on account jalan, also one account. Here we make changes on account berlian, also satu account saja. Okay, later, when we are doing account, uh, sorry, the kesilapan tidak ketara, you will see that we are actually making the uh, pembotolan on two account. Uh, there's a difference. This is just one account, one side only. That's why you can do something like this, just potong. Okay, now number four. Merekodkan pada satu account sahaja. Okay, so contoh. Membeli barang niaga berjumlah RM3,000 secara tunai daripada pembekal dolar. Okay, urus niaga ini hanya direkodkan dalam account belian. You see, so dia sudah tinggal another account. So now, in order to buat pembetulan, I have to buka account. Apa? Account you beli secara tunai, so I have to buka account tunai. Sorry, yeah, my word a bit off. Okay, but then as long as you understand, that will be right. So you debit your bullion, then I have to credit because when you beli your one kilowatt, so you credit your account tonight. So maybe this one a bit. Uh, let me make it more proper. Uh, how to make it more proper? Yeah, first. Okay. So, text. Uh, okay. So this will be your account. Account tonight. Okay. So this is twenty twenty one, April twentieth. Like that. So here, what is this account? Billion. So you write billion, and then how much? This is a uh, three thousand. Right. Ah, this is how you record. So you just have to add another account. So same thing, we are doing the pembetulan on just one account, one site only. Okay. Now next. Merekodkan amount yang tidak sama di bahagian debit dan di bahagian kredit. Okay. Contoh kesilapan. Contoh. Sewa yang dibayar sebanyak rm ringgit direkodkan dalam dengan betul dalam account bank. So, this is correct already. Okay. Tetapi tersalah rekod dalam account sewa dibayar sebanyak rm ringgit. Supposedly, is 2000 But you only record as 200 So, what is the perbezaan? 2000 minus 200 maksud there's another 1800 ringgit right now. so in this side i have to add lah okay so here you add what is the missing one so you write back bang so need another 1800 ringgit So this is the pertambahan uh, pembetulan. So if you add these two together, you get 2,000. And this 2,000 is the same with this 2,000. And then it then only it becomes inbound. And same thing, if you see, we only make a pembetulan, uh, we make changes in just one-sided, one account. Okay, We didn't do anything on the account bank. We only did uh, changes for account sewa sahaja. So you can see that all the account here, all the kesilapan ketara adalah uh, membuat pembetulan 
bagi satu account sahaja. Okay, are you guys clear so far? If yes, give me a C in the chat box. Okay, so now next, we move on to kesilapan tak ketara. Alright, so as I said just now, this kesilapan tak ketara must be dua account. Alright, so I mean like make what the pembetulan on two accounts lah, alright? So, imbangan dunga masih seimbang. So, as I said just now, 30,000, 30,000. Dia imbangan dunga, the jumlah is the same. But, you still have to do pembetulan because there's some kesilapan. Okay, now look at kesilapan satu. Kesilapan ketinggalan. Okay. Ketinggalan, straight away, you can see the word tinggal. Maksudnya, we are missing out something. Okay. Contoh kesilapan. Belian kredit daripada pembekal Pharma bernilai RM2,000 tidak direkodkan dalam mana-mana buku. Now, this mana-mana buku is the key word. Okay? Tidak direkodkan, direkodkan dalam mana-mana buku is the key word for kesilapan ketinggalan. You, you, you'll be thinking, eh, what about the Tinggal tadi. Just now we also saw something that we forget to record. Like this one. Correct not? Dia rupa, dia, dia hanya record pada account berlian sahaja and then they forget to uh, uh, record for another account. Now this one is just one account. Okay? Tapi for this kesedapan tidak ketara is two account. Can you see that? Tidak direkodkan dalam mana-mana buku. So now when we want to record, When we want to record this one, then how do you record? So, all you're going to do is you have to debit. What? Debit what? So, when we beli belian, so you debit belian lah. 2,000 ringgit. Okay. Then, what do we credit? Because when we debit, we must credit another account, right? So, here, we will credit this is a charter credit. So if it's a charter credit, then we have to write the name of the penegan. So this is from Pembekal Farmer. And this Pembekal Farmer is our account belum bayar. So account credit account belum bayar 2000 ringgit. Right? This I'm just showing you like how do we do it? Of course, this is this is supposed to be in general arm, right? But uh I'm just giving you like a quick um look on how to do this kasilapan. Alright, so this is our working for the pembetolan. Alright, debit bullion and credit ABB. So you can see if we have a T account, if you open a T account, if you book a account bullion. Now I have to debit 2000 on the Cambodian and on my ABB Pembeka Pharma. I have to credit it 2000. So you can see that now I'm recording one account and on two accounts. That's why this is a Kasilapan Taketara. Tadi I just have to add another account. So it's just one account. That's why this is a kesilapan ketara. Can you see the difference? So here, uh, okay, come back to here. So this is a kesilapan ketinggalan. Okay, so ABB or you want to put ABB uh, pembekal pharma to show that. Uh, yes. Okay, next. Later we'll do questions together. Okay, but now just uh, pay attention, listen, and see what is the difference. And see like for ketinggalan, what is the conto for ketinggalan. Alright, now next will be kesilapan commission. Okay, here I say sama klasifikasi. See carefully, ah. later you have to differentiate between this one commission and 
kesilapan prinsip. Okay, they look the same but they are not the same. Okay, so now kesilapan commission is sama klasifikasi. Contoh kesilapan. Belian sebanyak 3,400 daripada OMA telah direkodkan dalam account OMAN. Okay, so supposedly, okay ah, sebenarnya we should we should ah okay so here is there is a correct punya account okay correct punya ialah we should debit uh daripada oma masuk so we should debit account oma hey, sorry yeah we should debit oma and then credit okay. I found this oops on the sorry what is this one Series of the name. Okay, so you debit OMA and then you credit. Eh, you don't debit OMA lah. Okay, this is Belian lah, correct or not? So you debit Belian and then you credit OMA. OMA lah, M A R lah. This is the correct one lah. Tapi dia cakap dia telah direkodkan dalam account OMA. So what they have done is. This is the wrong one, ah, salah wrong. So what they go and do is they go and debit billion and credit Oman. So this is wrong. The Oman is wrong, bunya. So now we have to. Make the pembetulan. Are you guys following? If yes, give me an F in the chat box. I'm following. Alright. So, here now, we have to change from Oman to Omar. So here we already credit Oman. Or not. So now in order to take it out from Oman, I will have to. Alright. If you want to take out from Oman, you credit Oman. So you want to take out, so you debit Oman. 3,400. So if you debit Oman, and then now I have to credit into Omar. So you credit Omar three thousand four hundred. See now, right? So if you are doing an account T, so supposedly there is an Oman account. They go and credit it because this is an ABB ma is a liability. So you credit three thousand four hundred. Okay. So now, because this is wrong, I have to take out. There is no account Oman here. We only got Omar. So I have to debit Omar 3,400. Send it to Omar. And so I have to open another account for Omar. And because here I debit. So in account Omar, I must credit and write Oman 3,400. That's why... Here you can see that I debit Oman and I credit Omar AR. So this is called a kesilapan commission. Okay, so now next to kesilapan prinsip. Okay, now you can see that the kesilapan prinsip is almost the same thing. So you see, belanja membagi kenderaan sebanyak 500 ringgit telah didebitkan dalam account kenderaan. It's almost the same thing. Like this one, you belian daripada siapa telah direkodkan dalam mana? Another wrong account. So you be think, eh, the same. But you have to use a different name. Why? Because when you're doing your journal arm, they will ask you to do the keterangan. So you have to say what kesilapan is this. Is it a kesilapan commission? Is it a kesilapan prinsip? Or kesilapan amount? Or blah, blah, blah. So you have to know. You, you should know like what is the concept behind all this kesilapan. Alright? So for this one, can you see this one? I say klasifikasi berbeza. 
tadi ialah klasifikasi yang sama. So you see ah, Omar is a ABB, ABB is a liability. What is classification? Classification is all the asset, belanja, liability, hasil, and equity per million. All these five is the lima genus classification. Right? I think you should know by now, right? Okay. So now, Oman is a liability because it's an account balloon buyer. And Oman is also an account ABB liability. That's why they are in the same classification. If in the same classification, they record Salah account, then this is called Kesilapan Commission. But then, if, let's say here, this is a belanja membagi kenderaan. Belanja. So, this is a belanja lah. Correct or not? So, this one. Tapi, they go and record into account kenderaan. What is account kenderaan? Kenderaan is a asset. Faham tak? So, from belanja, you go and record in asset. So, this is a klasifikasi yang berbeza. If this is a klasifikasi yang berbeza, I have to say that this is a kesilapan prinsip. Can you understand? If yes, give me a U in the chat box. If you understand. Okay. So, how to record? Same thing, all right. So if if normally you are not sure how to record, you can book a account key lah, all right. So let's say you membagi mem, uh, belanja membagi kenderaan sebanyak. So this is a correct one, okay. Membagi kenderaan five hundred. Tapi you telah didebitkan dalam account kenderaan, meaning you go and debit kenderaan. Like this. Debit. Here 500. Blah. Okay. So, but this is wrong. It should be in account belanja membagi kenderaan. So, what we're going to do is I have to take this out. So, when we take out from here, since I already debit in the kenderaan, to take it out, I have to credit. So, here 500 and send to where? I have to book out another account called Belanja Membagi Kenderaan. B M K. So in so I have to book out another account lah. If you're doing a ledger, so you have to book out an account Belanja Membagi Kenderaan. And because here credit, I have to debit here five hundred from Kenderaan. So as you can see, I'm doing adjustment. Saya sedang membuat pembetulan on both account debit and account credit. So if you want to do a, a journal arm, so here will be um, debit belanja membagi kenderaan. How much? 500. And then I credit, I take out from the kenderaan and it is 500, same figure. Is it? So the, all this is journal arm. It's just that I'm not doing it in uh, the, the, the XL, right? The journal arm format. This one is just to show you like the overview. Okay, to, to let you understand. Okay, next. Okay, so we already learned ketinggalan, commission, and principle. Okay, another three. Kesilapan amount. So kesilapan amount is go, is deal with amount. Okay, so here kesilapan. Contoh kesilapan. Jualan tunai 547. So this is the correct one, 547. But you tersilap record sebagai 574. You silap record as this one. So if you have an account, if you want to do an account, 
Okay, so in your jawline tonight, so when we record, right, we normally we debit and credit, mark, right? So you debit your tonight, you test it record as this one at 574. Jawline, so money comes in, so you debit tonight and you credit jawline. J for jawline, yeah? so 574. But the thing is, what is the actual mark? 547. So you use 574 minus 547. What do you get? You get 27. Okay, so now the next thing you have to ask yourself. Should we minus or tambah 27 from this figure. Now we really recorded 574 in our account. Tapi, what is the correct one? 547. Meaning, 574 we should minus 27. So that we can get this figure. 547. Okay, so if you are to minus, you, when you're minusing right, you cannot think like, oh, minus and I credit. Cannot. Okay, if minus is not a debit, no. You have to look at the account. Which side is the amount placed at? Is it on the debit or credit side? Let me give an example. So let's say for this question, you think that, oh, because this is minus, so I should be credit. Now, if you go and credit Jualan and put 27, what happens is if you credit Jualan, you have to debit to 9, with 27. So what happened is 547 plus 27, it becomes 574 plus 27, it becomes 601. Is it not? Here it becomes increase. You get what I mean? So now how do we do is you have to look at where your amount is. If your jualan, we just look at one account. Huh? You don't have to go to two account. Okay, so you, let's focus on jualan. So if jualan, you credit 574. So if you want to minus, you always go to the opposite side. So if you want to minus here in this jualan, you have to debit it. So you debit how much? The difference, 27. So if you do like that, if you do the account, okay, it becomes HB, correct or not? So the HB you use 574, Minus 27. So the balance will be 5. The bucket will be 5, 4, 7. Which is what we want. So same thing. Tonight, if 574 is on the debit side, so to, in, to reduce, to berkurangkan, you have to put on the opposite side, which is here, uh, 27. So same thing, you reduce to 547 here. The HP. Is it not? That's why from here, we know that we should debit Jualan 27 and credit to 27. And as I said, always say, your debit and credit with your amount must be the same. Right, so this is how you record for kesilapan amount, meaning there is a they give you wrong figure, then you have to minus yourself and then you debit and credit back. Okay, now next number five the kesilapan terbalik, or you can call it kesilapan songsang, up to you. So this is terbalik lah. What do you mean terbalik? Okay, contoh kesilapan. Membayar gaji 600 dengan tunai direkodkan dalam buku tunai di bahagian debit dan account gaji di bahagian credit. So now what they did is they go and debit buku tunai and credit gaji. So if you book an account gaji, you credit 600. And then your buku tunai, let's say bank, lah, okay, account bank, you go and debit 600. Now, logical thinking if you buy a gaji, buy a means what? Your wang keluar. 
So if you want keluar by right, supposedly we should here I put an account that we should record. Uh, the money keluar, I should credit 600. And then for my gaji, I debit 600 because if i credit bank then i have to debit gaji and gaji is a belanja so if it is a belanja i should debit my account gaji but here we do a totally opposite thing that's why it is called a kesilapan terbalik you you terbalik dah okay should debit you go and credit the account should credit bunyi you go and debit uh, this is called a terbalik so how do you record so very simple now, this thing is, whenever you see a terbalik atau songsang, you should take the figure times 2. Why you have to do that? Let's give you an example here. So, let's say here, if I had to take out from gaji, you take out masuk, I, to take out, so same concept, I have to go to the opposite side. So, if take out, if I put 600, Here, I debit 600 gaji and credit bank 600. What happens? 600, 600. Is there any baki HB? There is no baki anymore. Maksudnya, you sudah tutup. This one really close. 600, 600. So, it cannot. That's why, after you reverse this out, after I credit 600, Okay, now I need to have another figure. Okay, we should debit gaji ma, so we should have six hundred left in the gaji. So I have to debit another six hundred, and then for your bank same thing, six hundred. So now if I potong because six hundred six hundred, this one we can net off. We can potong six hundred six hundred potong potong. We still have six hundred on the credit side of the bank. And then 600 on the debit side of the gaji. And this is what we want. So now, instead of writing 600, 600 two times, you see, we 600 times 2. You get 1,200. So from here, how you're going to record is, we will have to, what? Debit gaji. You can see now in the debit side. So gaji, you debit gaji. 1200 and credit bank 4200 also. So that is how you record for uh kesilapan terbalik atau kesilapan songsang. All right, so the keyword is they record dalam uh terbalik debit credit terbalik. All right? And then if there is so your amount times 2 and then you you debit out and credit back to your bank. Okay? Do what we are supposed to do. Okay, last one. Six. Kesilapan sang saling mengimbangi. Contoh. Belian tunai 300 ringgit terlebih rekod sebanyak 50 ringgit dalam account belian dan buku tunai. So, in your belian. You belian tunai mah. Belian tunai means your belian you debit 300. And then your tunai, you beli mah. So money keluar. So you credit 300. But now they said 300 telah terlebih record sebanyak 50 dalam your account belian dan buku tunai. Okay. So what we're going to do is we have to take out this 50 ringgit. Okay? And for this question, Hold on, yeah. Okay. So for this question, they say this is true, meaning this is the correct one actually. Okay? So it shouldn't be 300. It should be Actually, it is supposed to be 350. Why? Because they say, Berlian Tuna, whenever you see something like this, Berlian Tuna 300, meaning this is a correct bunya. Tapi, mereka telah lebih record 50 ringgit. 
Can you see not? So actually on your account book is like that. 350, 350. So because they're the little bit record 50 ringgit, so I have to take out 50 ringgit so that it becomes 300. So to take out, meaning I have to credit 50 on your belanja, on your belian, and then I have to debit 29 for 50. So if that's a thing, your HB becomes 300, and that is what we want, 300. Correct or not? So same here, 300, the HB. So here, conclusion, I have to debit to 9, account to 9, 50, and then credit belian for 50. Okay, now, this one is something similar to your kesilapan amount. But uh, the same kesilap uh, salah amount. But then the difference is, for the kesilapan amount, they will give you two amount. So you have to minus yourself. But uh, like, look at kesilapan amount now. Keep press wrong. Okay, look at this. Kesilapan amount. 547 and 574. They give you two amount. Then what we have to do, we have to minus to get the difference. And then we do the recording. But then for this saling mengimbangi, they straight away give you berapa yang record salah, 50 ringgit. Here they say terlebe record 50 ringgit. So here, you can straight away use this 50 ringgit and enter here. But then for kesilapan amount is you have to minus first, then the perbezaan, then only you do the pembetulan. You see the difference? So, yang give you straight away, give you the amount, this one, we call it saling mengimbangi. And if they give you two different amount punya, then it, it is called kesilapan amount. Ah. Right? So, this is something that you have to remember. You have to maybe memorize. But you don't have to memorize now because your exam maybe is still far away or maybe you have to memorize for your coming uh, I mean, as long as your exam is near, uh, then only go and memorize. Uh, it's never too late. Because it's just six things that you have to memorize. If you memorize now, memang later, you might forget. So it's better that near exam, I mean, if you have a very good memory, definitely you don't have to memorize uh, when the exam is around the corner. Lah, okay? So, ketinggalan, you have to know what is the example. So you just look at the chonto. And all this chonto is pretty standard. They are almost the same most of the time. It's just that they change the name, the account, and also the amount. But other than that, the, the structure of the sentence is almost 98% the same. Okay? So whenever they, you want to know about Ketinggalan, they will tell you there is a looper di record dalam mana-mana buku. Okay? Commission, they, they will say, oh, salah record, okay? For what account, Omar or something, another similar name when you, okay, Shafira become Shafi. Ah, something like that. Then the one is commission. But then if it is from a different classification from belanja to asset, other asset to belanja, then there is a kesilapan principle. Okay, amount will be, they will give you two amount and they say the, the silap record. Ah, then this is the amount. Then terbalik kesilapan is salah debit credit. Uh, they do it to the terbalik. Then lastly, the saling mengimbangi is they straight away tell you to label record berapa atau terkurang record berapa. And then, after other than this one, then you have to know the concept lah. Okay? Like, should I debit or credit the account? Alright? So, let's go to discussion question one and do it together. Okay, take your buku nota. So, let's look at Question one, check Jana. Okay, mendapati kesilapan kesilapan berikut dalam buku account. So in this question, what we are supposed to do is, you perlu membetulkan kesilapan di atas melalui catatan jurnal. So when they say catatan jurnal, they are actually referring to jurnal. Okay, in this case, alright. So what you're gonna do is, let's put the. Nombor soalan. 
and then this is uh, we are preparing a general arm. Okay, and then view bilangan putiran and then debit credit you want here you can put volume So this is a table for your general arm. Now. Okay. So here, ring to Malaysia, ring to Malaysia. Okay. So. All right. So start from A. So A then you put here A lah. A. Okay. So jumlah kedua-dua jenis berlian dan jenis jualan terlebih campur sebanyak 190 so whenever you see a little bit jumbo and they straight away give you the figure remember do you have any idea something similar what we saw just now the little bit record blah 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 so this is a saling mengimbangi okay kesilapan saling mengimbangi Alright, so how do we do adjustment? How do we membetulkan this one? So if you have an account berlian, normally berlian, we have to, we debit. And then on jualan, we credit. And now they say both of these accounts telah terlebih campur 190. So in order to take it out, so berlian, I have to, if you want to take out, meaning you have to minus. You lebih charge mah, so I have to kurangkan. So if you want to minus out, I told you just now, whenever you want to minus, you have to debit or credit the opposite side. So if berlian, then I have to credit 190 and jalan, I have to debit 190 lah. So here, you debit account jalan and then you credit your berlian. How much? It's straight away already given you 190. Just put 190. 190. So here, keterangan, you must write keterangan unless the question say you don't have to do. Tak perlu keterangan. Then you don't have to. But if someone say membuat jenis, then you have to do. So here, pembetulan. This is a pembetulan kesilapan. What kesilapan is this? This is a kesilapan saling mengimbangi. Then we'll move on to B. B. Berlian alat tulis 260 ringgit tersilap rekod sebagai berlian alatan pejabat. Is it? Berlian alat tulis tersilap rekod sebagai berlian alatan pejabat. So, which kesilapan is this one? And first thing you see, this is asset. Eh, bukan. Berlian alat tulis normally is a belanja. Okay? Because I told you alat tulis, alat tulis, you put inside your belanja mah. Perang tak? Okay. Now, tapi dia record sebagai Berlian alatan pejabat. Alatan pejabat is a what? Is an asset. So, this is klasifikasi yang berbeza. If klasifikasi yang berbeza, we go to kesilapan prinsip. Klasifikasi yang berbeza. Faham tak? So here, 
later you have to write lah. This is a classificasi. Uh, sorry, uh, kesilapan prinsip. But then when we want to record, how do you record? So from here, normally, okay, if you don't know, you're not sure whether to debit or credit, then you just draw out the table. Very simple table. So here, let's say your alat tulis. And then another one is alatan berjabat. Okay. So sekarang, you tersilap record into alatan berjabat. So now I have to take it out. So to take it out from AB, meaning you have to kurangkan alatan pejabat, you have to record on the opposite side, 260. So I credit 260 from my alatan pejabat, then I have to debit into my alat tulis 260. So here, you debit alat tulis and credit your alatan pejabat. Two sixty, two sixty. So here is a pembetulan kesilapan. So this is a kesilapan what? Which kesilapan? Kesilapan prinsip. Next, C. Hutang Encik Steven berjumlah 2640 yang dihapuskan tidak direkod langsung di mana-mana buku. Do you see remember mana-mana buku? This is the keyword for kesilapan ketinggalan. Betul tak? Kesilapan ketinggalan tidak direkod dalam mana-mana buku. Ah, so how do you record? You straight away record lah because it is not recorded in anywhere. So now you just record as usual. Alright. So if this hutang dihapus, meaning this is a hutang lapor. So if hutang lapor is a belanja, I debit hutang lapor. This is what we learn from the bab lapan. Pernah nak hutang lapor? You debit hutang lapor and then credit from your account belum terima, Stephen. Because hutang lapor is always berkaitan dengan ABT. So, account belum terima uh, Stephen. In check Stephen. So, this is a uh, pembetulan kesilapan. This is a kesilapan Ketinggalan. How much is this trade? We take the figure from here. 2640. D. Okay. Angkutan masuk 480. Telah dicatat dengan betul di dalam buku tunai tetapi dibukukan sebagai belanja am so anggota masuk 480 dalam uh, anggota masuklah kau nak 480 tapi telah dicatat dengan betul di dalam buku tunai meaning tetapi dibukukan sebagai belanja am okay so here 480 they record in buku tunai correct Buku tunai meaning your account bank, your account tunai lah. Okay. Tapi dia dibukukan sebagai belanja. Meaning, they go and buka belanja arm. Account. Tapi betul tak? We should record in what? Angkutan masuk mah. Correct lah. So now, I have to take it out. So they go and debit 480 in your belanja arm. So now I have to take out 480 from belanja arm and debit into another account called angkutan maso 480 so this is what i am supposed to record as okay so here i debit angkutan maso so angkutan maso and then i have to credit belanja arm i have to take out from my belanja arm so how much is that 480 now 
This is something you record in a Sala account. So it's either commission or the principal ready. Correct or not? And then now you have to see what is Anguta Maso. Anguta Maso is a belanja. You have to look at the classification. And then belanja arm is also a belanja. So ini is a classification yang sama. So if it is a classification yang sama, maksudnya this is a pembetulan kesilapan for apa? Kesilapan commission. Okay, kesilapan. So this is a kesilapan commission. See, classification yang oh sorry here sama classification. And this is a Kasilapan uh, Commission. It's the same thing. Okay. So last one. E. Jalan tunai sebanyak 242. Telah direkodkan sebagai 224. You see? They give you two amount. I told you. Two amount and then amount salah. This is a Kasilapan amount. Alright, so dia cakap jalan tunai sebanyak 242 dia direkodkan sebagai 22. So this is the correct one, 242. Okay, so now you tell, tell me the difference. You use 242 minus the 224. And see how much do you get. 242 minus 224. We get 18. Correct not? So, we should tambah atau berkurang. You have to ask yourself. So this is the correct one, 242. This is the wrong one. So in order to make it to the same as the correct one, I have to plus 18. Mah, correct not? Ah, so if it is a plus, then we have to record on the same side. If it is a minus, then it must be opposite side. Okay, so if I draw out an account here, let's say account Jolan and account Tunai. So, by right here, I should credit Jolan 424. Eh, sorry. Okay. So, here I recorded 224. Credit my Jolan. And I debit my 224. Okay, so if this is you want to add, meaning you want to add the amount, you put it on the same side. So let's say for Jalan 224, you credit, right? So now you want to tambah, you add 18 and put it on the same side, same as your 229. So then only you add up together, you get 242. If you minus, then you put on the other side, if you want to minus. Is it? So here, I will debit 29, account 29. And credit Jolan 18. So here you have to calculate the difference and then you put it in. So this is a what? Kesilapan. Pembetulan Kesilapan. So this is a Kesilapan. I told you just now, it's a Kesilapan. Amount. That's it. So this is how we record for the Pombatana Kisilapan. You guys done? If done, give me a D in the chat box. If you are done, you give me a D in the chat box. If you are done, if not yet, then give you some more time to complete.
Okay, so I'll continue, yeah? All right, so two, question two. So now they give you a whole thing. Let's look at what we have to do here. You have to betulkan kesilapan melalui jenis arm and also menidakan imbangan duga selepas pembetulan. So we have pembetulan. Ah, can you see now? Look at this imbangan duga. The figure is the same. So if this is the same, maksudnya there is a kesilapan tak ketara. Alright, this is a kesilapan tak ketara. Okay, now, let's see. We have to do the general arm for each one, one by one lah. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. Okay, so general arm. Okay, so start from the first one. So, belanja arm 260 telah dicatatkan dalam account berlian. So, this is a belanja. Berlian is also a belanja. So, this is a kesilapan. Apa? Pre, uh, not prinsip. This is a kesilapan commission because they are the klasifikasi yang sama. Kerana. So, how do you record? Dicatakan dalam account belian. Uh, 260 telah dicatakan dalam account belian. So, the 260 I have to take out from the belian and put it into belanja arm. So, here, see ya? So, that we have to look for our belian. Where is our belian? So, 37,000 mark, correct So, I have to take out 260 and then put it into Belanja arm here plus 260. All right, because this 260 should be in Belanja arm, but I recorded in Berlin, so I will take it out. So here you can see that you see, ah, uh, this is a minus and this is a plus. So what I told you is. If minus opposite side, if plus we put it on the same side. Now, if Berlian, normally we debit Berlian, right? Okay, in the debit side, ma, so we debit Berlian. Ma. Okay, so if minus, maksud on the other side, it becomes, I have to credit 260. I have to credit Berlian and write 260. And then what about this belanja arm? Plus. So I say if it is a plus, you put it on the same side. So belanja arm is in the debit also. So if debit and you want to plus, you debit belanja arm. So here you can see that one debit, one credit. It's the same thing. Two sixty. If you're not sure, you want to book an account, can also. All right. It's the same thing. All right. So here, si pembetulan kesilapan. So this is a kesilapan commission. Right. Next. Number two. Belian barang sebanyak 490 secara kredit telah tersilap record amount dalam account belian. Dan account belum bayar 850. So they give you two account. I mean two two amount. You, we have to minus to tell the berbeza an right. So this is a apa kesilapan? A amount lah. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Now how to do? First thing first minus dulu lah. Okay. 850 minus 490. Let's see what do you get? You get 360. Then the second question is you ask yourself, should is it I should petamba or berkurang? Alright, so which one is the correct one? 490 is the betul benya lah. 
Okay, they say billion barang sebanyak berapa mah. Tapi, telah tersilap record as 850. So, one thing, if you can notice, normally, the amount yang in the front is the amount yang correct punya. Or catatan yang betul punya. You see, ah, let's do a hypothesis. The first one here, your billion je am 260 is in the front. And this is what we follow. This is the correct one. Berlian barang sebanyak 490. The front one, the, the, the front amount is the correct amount. And then the, the one at the back is the wrong one. Okay, look at number three later. Ah. But then let's highlight first. This is the correct one. This one, the uh, the, the, the kurang this 40 days should be given you. Ah. Okay, and then you see ah, the last one. Commission determinant 64 ringgit. This is the correct one. Tapi dia telah dicatat dalam account discount diterima. So this is the uh, wrong one. So I have to take it in the front. Okay. So you can see that all the one in the front are usually the correct one. You see, uh, B. But then other two is 260. The CR record sebagai apa. So meaning the front one is the correct one. Angkuna masuk. This is what we are supposed to record. Tapi we record as belanja am. Jualan tunai sebanyak 242. Tapi telah record sebagai 224. You see, uh, the the tick is always in the front and the cross, the wrong one, is always at the back. And sometimes if you cannot imagine, because sometimes you read, you read, there are too many words and you panic, you sometimes you, you just black out and you don't know which one is the correct, which one is the wrong one, which one you should do the pembetulan. So now I can tell you that the conclusion is, I mean, sometimes you just have to read up, maybe they change the structure of the sentence, but most of the time, 89%, the front one is what we have to follow on. The amount yang betul, the account yang betul. And then the back is what we have to do, the pelarasan. Okay? So, uh, it's not pelarasan, it should be pembetulan. Okay? So now, come back to two. So, this is the wrong one. Lah. So, I have to do pembetulan to make it 490. So, 850 become 490, meaning I have to minus 360. I have to minus from where? Berlian. And ABB lah. So, Berlian, I have to minus again. 850. Oh, sorry, 360 to perbezaan. And then in the, one is in account Berlian and then the other one is ABB. So, account belum bayar, I have to minus 360. Here. So, from here, minus, minus meaning I have to put it on the opposite side. You see ah? So if Berlin is on the debit side, I minus meaning I have to credit my Berlin. If you're not sure how to do this one, you can open your account and then it's the same thing also. You get the same side. Okay? And then look at your account belum bayar. Account belum bayar is in a credit side. But you minus, minus means opposite. So on the credit, you minus opposite. It becomes, you have to debit your account belum bayar. Or if you know Berlin is on the credit, then definitely the other account must be debit lah because debit credit ma. Okay, next one number three. Joran barang niaga secara credit sebanyak two to eight. Perkara ni belum dicatat di mana mana buku. So belum dicatat mana mana buku. This is a ketinggalan. So I just look at the keyword only. So if belum di record mana mana, you just record as usual lah. So jualan barang niaga secara credit. So when you have jualan, I credit jualan lah. Your jualan bertambah mah. Okay, two to eight. Credit my jualan, and then debit. So this is a secara credit. Secara credit meaning I have to debit my account belum terima. Okay, so here I have to because data I have to do an imbangan duga selepas membodolan. So my ABT 9230, I have to plus 228, and then my jualan have to plus 228 also. So you can see that plus 
is on the same side. So if my ABT is on the debit side, I plus, I debit back my ABT. Same goes to your Jolan. On the credit side, I plus, put it on the same side also, you credit. Okay, so now number four. Alatan berjabat bernilai 1500 diambil oleh pemilik untuk kegunaan sendiri telah direkod di sebelah debit account alatan pejabat dan di sebelah credit account bilan. So this is a what? Debit and credit side. Normally when you see salah debit and credit side, right? Usually is a kesilapan songsang. Okay? And by right, we all know Whenever there's the ambilan, remember abalim or not? Okay, sometimes you forget you can apply your abalim here. So the ambilan we should debit, see or not? But here they go and credit, meaning this is a songsang lah. Okay, this is a pembetulan songsang. And I told you if it is a pembetulan uh, kesilapan songsang atau terbalik, it's the same thing. Huh? What we're going to do is you straight away take the figure times 2. So here, they go and credit, you see, uh, ambilan is on the uh, debit side, okay? That means they go and credit it. So now, to add back to ambilan, I have to debit ambilan, I have to plus, lah, correct or not? So I plus times 2,500 times 2, it becomes 3,000. I think I missed out something. I, I accidentally jumped to number 5, correct or not? Okay, later we, we add back to the four. Uh. Now we talk about five first. Okay, come back to here. So times two, get 3,000. And at the same time, alatan pejabat, ma, you debit. Ma. You go and debit alatan pejabat. So I have to take out from my alatan pejabat. So my alatan pejabat here, I have to take out times two. 1,500 times two, you get 3,000. So you may not have to debit ambilan. So, oh sorry, here. So here I debit ambilan and credit alatan pejabat. So 3,000, 3,000. That's why I say, whenever you see a song sang, you should with times two only. All right. Okay, now we go back to, one, two, two. go back to four. Accidentally skip it. Okay. Discount diberi dan discount diterima, terima telah terkurang 40. So, if they straight away tell you terkurang, this is a kesilapan saling mengimbangi. Uh, can you see? So, just look at the keyword. This is a kesilapan saling mengimbangi. So, they give you 40, 40. Ma. You straight away know this is, we should debit and credit 40 bunyi lah. Okay, but the question now is, do we debit or credit the other one? Okay, so this one the buried and this one determined the lot the kurang 40. So you the kurang charge 40, now you have to add back 40. Lah. Okay, I have to make it to the actual one. So it's plus 40. So discount the buried, you tambah 40. And then your discount the terima, you juga tambah 40. So you can see or not, you tambah the debit. Maksud, debit, tambah debit, so you debit lah. So you debit your discount, delivery. And then for discount determinant, it's on the credit side. And if you tambah the credit side, you credit back lah. So here, you credit your discount determinant. 40, 40. See, it's very simple only once you can get the technique. Okay, last one. Number... Four, five, six. Commission diterima sixty four ringgit telah dicatat dalam account discount diterima. So commission diterima, discount diterima, both are hasil, hasil, and therefore this is a kesilapan sama klasifikasi. Sama klasifikasi is kesilapan commission. Alright. So this is a pembetulan kesilapan commission. So I have to 64 ma telah dicatat dalam account uh discount diterima. So I always say the front one is the correct one, the behind one is the wrong one. So I have to take out from here. This is the wrong one. 
So this can determine where is this can determine this one three ninety. I have to take it out from here. I have to take out sixty four. So if I take out sixty four, I have to add into discount determine. So discount determine is if you commission commission determine. Do you have commission determine here? Ah, oh, we don't have commission determine. Meaning I have to book up one new account for commission determine. And commission determinant is a hard seal, so you add to the credit side. So here, 64. So from here, you can see, okay, look at the discount determinant. Huh? Discount determinant is on the credit side, 390. But we go and minus it. So if you minus it, meaning you have to opposite it. So credit, you, you minus, it becomes debit. So I have to debit discount determinant. So if I credit this one, the minimum minimum another account will be credit lah. So you credit commission. So the amount is sixty four sixty four. So that's it, and. Commission determinant is a hassle, ma. So if your hassle increase, you plus to your credit side. So it plus to your credit side, that's why it is on the credit also. So for accounting is once you understand the logic, if you go from A, you will get the answer also. If you come from B, you get the answer also. If you come from C or D or E from different angle, you still get back the same answer. Because we work, we function by debit and credit. That's why if you do it right, you always get the right figure. Okay? So now, after saying all this thing, we have to do a imbangan duga selepas pembetulan. Okay? So, quickly prepare the B. That's why I did all this uh, pembetulan here, so that later you can straight away do this thing. You just straight away minus plus minus lah. So do you still remember how to do an imbangan duga now? So you just or you just copy from this one. Okay, this is imbangan duga lah. So perniagaan sai. This is an imbangan duga pada thirty first December. 2020. So just follow debit credit. Then I am, I am. So here you just copy a model Berlin Jualan account belum terima account belum. Baya discount debari just copy only discount deterima bank alatan pejabat so here you can write lah imbangan dua selepas pembetulan so that we know is selepas pembetulan. Alatan pejabat, inventory pada, or you can say inventory awal, okay. Belanja am, sewa, ambilan. And don't forget, we added another one called commission determiner. So for modal, the other perbezaan, the other pembetulan, you just put back 36610. Then for Berlian, uh, there is um changes. Okay, so it's 37,000 minus 260. So what do you get? To so use a calculator and calculate. 260, you get 36,740. Then your jawline, there's changes also. You're using 66. Eight eight zero plus two two eight. 
and this is Jordan is on the credit side. Yeah, you just follow back the what you see in the question. So A B T got changes also with the land. You're using eh, sorry, yeah, for your I think uh, Berlin there is another one also. This one uh, minus two sixty and minus three sixty. Don't forget three sixty. Okay, your ABT is uh, 9230 plus 228. ABT is on the debit side. Account volume via 8320 minus 360. Discount library five four zero plus D. Discount literima the three ninety plus. Forty minus sixty-four. This can determine is hasil, so that's why it's on the credit side. Then bank no changes, so seven three one zero, and then my alatan pejabat. This now got pembetulan. It's fifteen thousand seven hundred minus three thousand. Inventory around no changes. Should we put back to two nine one zero? And then your Berlanger arm is six 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 seven zero plus two six zero. Then your saver. Is this seven got changes now? No changes, right? So shall we put seven thousand two hundred and then your ambulance is five thousand six hundred and forty plus three thousand. Then we get the video eight six four zero. Lastly, your commission determiner. It is a hassle, so it is on the credit side, 64. Then, finally, one line double line. And then, you will come. So, yeah, the same figure. It should be inbound because this is a inbound and doodle. All right, this is your answer. Are you guys done? So, if done, give me a one in the chat box so that I know you are done. But I think you need some time. So, I give you some time as well. Oh, so fast, I guess. The rest are run done. Okay. So, we still have time. Should we? Can we take one last question, number three? And then we are done for this chapter. Okay. So, we take this one, last question. We're done for this thing. Because question four is the same thing, actually. 
you do the kesilapan and then uh, the PKK. You just do the same thing like how you did for your imbangan duga lah. Because if you know how to change your imbangan duga, then you will be able to do your PKK. So you just straight away change from here only. It's the same thing like your imbangan duga. Okay? But then this one is a bit uh, a different question. Even though it's not a very popular question, but I just want you to know like how to do this kind of question. All right. So after we done this one, then we are done for everything. And then there is no class next week anymore. So like we are done for everything for this year. Okay. So can we take the last question for number three? Uh, very short one, very quick one. So if you can, you give me a three in the chat box. Yeah, so quick one, huh? Okay, let's go. Okay, so you can see here this thing, blah, 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 blah. And then, anda dikendaki menyediakan penyata untuk menyelaraskan untung kasa. Okay, and then you have to do an accounting review selepas kesiapan tipe token. Lah. Okay, so there are few changes here. Kita nemui selepas accounting review tersebut disediakan. Okay, so what are the changes there are jualan terkurang charge, kadar bayaran, belian, angkutan keluar, insurance termasuk insurance kereta pemilik sebanyak 1,000. Okay, so now, jualan, you go to perdagangan. Correct not? So now you have to think of format. Huh? One is for perdagangan, another one is for akang untung rugi. Because you have to do untung kasar. You don't have to do untung kasar. They already given you untung kasar here. But the thing is, you need to do a penyata untuk menyelaras. Menyelaras is like, there is some changes. There is some pembetulan, pelarasan. So we have to make some changes for our untung kasar. Okay? So, in order to do that, we have to know which one is to the perdagangan to get the untung kasar. And this is to the account untung rugi. So, jualan is in the perdagangan. I don't know. Kada bayaran is in the untung rugi. Berlian termasuk alat tulis bernilai 220. So, this one got two sides. Perdagangan and untung rugi. Because alat tulis is in here ma, in account untung rugi ma. But berlian is in account perdagangan. So, there are two sides. Then, same goes to your four. Keluar dan angkutan masuk. There are two sides also. Because angkutan masuk is in perdagangan. Angkutan keluar is in untung rugi. Okay, then lastly, your insurance, termasuk insurance kereta pemilik sebanyak 1,000. Okay, so now, if you want to do record, okay, so let's say there's a jualan. So jualan, I have to, the kurang charge 1,300, I have to add back. The kurang charge meaning I have to add back lah. Tadi also have a, something called the kurang charge, right? Uh, where is it? Like the kurang charge 40, then I have to add back. So same thing here. I have to add back to my Jalan 1003. This is the pembetulan. Number two, kadar bayaran termasuk promosi 420. So, I have to take it out lah. Okay? Because the promosi should be in promosi. Kadar bayaran should be kadar bayaran. So, the kadar bayaran here, 3200, termasuk 220 which is for, uh, sorry, uh, 420 which is for promosi. So, here I have to take out 420 and then I have to put it in promo C 420 so this is like a kesilapan apa? kesilapan commission belanja belanja mah okay so we put it in the we put it at the wrong account that's why I have to take out and put to the right account number 3 belian termasuk alat tulis bernilai 220 Maksudnya, if I have an account belian, I have to take out 220. And then this 220 is for alat tulis. So it's the same thing. Termasuk, termasuk, masuk. Alat tulis, I have to add back 220. So take out and add back. So I take out from my belanja. This is belanja. Oh, sorry, belian. 220 minus 220. Okay. Angkutan, angkutan keluar termasuk angkutan masuk. 320. So, angkutan keluar termasuk. So, same thing. You take out 320 and then you put it into angkutan 
masuk. Put dia lah. Angkutan masuk. There is 320. Okay. Last one. Insurance termasuk insurance kereta pemilik sebanyak 1,000. This insurance kereta pemilik is ambulan lah. It's for yourself mah. So this insurance, I have to take out 1,000. So if there's an ambulan, I have to record as ambulan 1,000 lah. But here, do we have to record ambulan? Don't have to. Because we don't have to do penyata kedudukan ke. Kan? Okay, so now, let's see question 3. So I have to do penyata menyelaraskan akaun untung, uh, untung kasar. So you... So here you write the name lah. Perniagaan Fund X. So here, you just write back penyata untuk menjelaras kan untung kasar Bengkel Malaysia Bengkel Malaysia so this is something like your penyata lah normally okay but now we have to menyelaraskan untung kasar so untung kasar is already given is 3420 Okay, so this is not a correct amount. Why? Because as you saw just now, Jolan telah to kurang charge. My angkutan masuk got 320. The belian got 220. All these are record, should be recorded in my perdagangan. You get what I mean? So here, in my untung kasa, I have to add. So add what? So in your untung kasa, I want to add the jualan, because jualan to kurang charge mah, 1,300. So I have to add back to my jualan. So if you remember, we in the account berdagangan, is how? Your jualan, tolak, your cost jualan. So if your jualan bertambah, then, my, untung kasar UK akan, bertambah lah. Correct not? If my cost jualan bertambah, then my untung kasar akan berkurang. Minus. Why? Because you have to know your cost jualan is a minus. So the more the cost jualan, then the lesser the untung kasar. Do you get know what I mean? So the other way, the same. So if your jualan berkurang, my untung kasar akan berkurang juga. Alright, so same goes for cost jalan. If your cost jalan berkurang, okay, then my untung kasar akan bertambah. Plus. So, it's something like minus, plus, minus. You see? Minus, minus, it becomes a plus. So, it's the same theory. Okay, so now, if my jalan terkurang, so I add back my jalan, right? So, you have to add back your jalan. How much? 1,300. Okay. And then for my belian. Tadi belian termasuk alat tulis 220. So I say I have to minus 220 up from my belian. Correct or not? So if I want to, see ah, if I want to minus my belian, where is my belian sitting at? My belian is under my cost jalan. So if my belian want to berkurang, minus, what happened? So minus, minus becomes plus. So therefore, if my belian berkurang, my untung kasar akan bertambah. That's why here I put under, I have to add belian of the 220. You get what I mean? But for angkutan, there's an, another angkuda masuk mah 320. So this angkuda masuk 320, dia bertambah 320. So if you bertambah angkuda masuk,
you bertambah, it becomes what happened? So here you bertambah, so minus plus, it becomes minus. You get what I mean or not? So here, that's why here you have to minus out your angkutan masuk. Because the more angkutan masuk, then the higher the cost jalan. If the higher the cost jalan, then the lower your untung tasa. So that's why here you should be the bracket. How much is your untung tasa? Oh, sorry, your angkutan masuk, 320. So here you tambah lah. Okay, you tambah what you have to. Plus here. Okay. Then this add up together lah. Okay, so this one should plus this one. And then you minus 320 lah. Then you get the figure. This one. Three, five, four, zero, zero. See, so this is the untung kasa selepas pelarasan. Or selepas, ya, yeah, selepas diselaraskan. Diselaraskan. Okay, so meaning I have to do some adjustment to the untung kasa. So if this change, then later I have to do account untung rugi juga. Okay, so in your account untung rugi, this one simple lah. You just put in all the figure on the so here. So we just do an account T1 lah. Okay, so more simpler. Okay, so here. Account untung rugi bagi tahun berakhir the third April twenty twenty one. So this is selepas men yelaras. Okay. So here are Ringo Malaysia, Ringo Malaysia. So the untung kasa selepas diselaras, you put here lah. Okay, so how much is that? It is. This one, you take this one. This figure, three five thirty five thousand four hundred, and the rest you just throw it in like just now how you did for your uh imangan duga, gaji, kada bayaran, angkutan keluar. Then for angkutan keluar, all these things if got changes, you just show lah. Three thousand one hundred. I have to minus three hundred twenty. And then for my Asian study, you have to use 2,200 minus 1,000. And then the Kada Bayar run, I have to use 3,200 minus 420. See? And then the promo C, Kada Bayar run. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh. The promo C is already here. Ma, so I don't have to. Open another account. Lah. So I just add 420 into here. Okay, you don't have to book out another account for it. So here, promo C 1800 plus 
420. I'll have to list. Got changes also. We are using 480 plus 220. Okay, then here the commission determiner. And then the phi ADA plus simple. 2850. So the figure here will be 3100. Eh, sorry, it's minus ma. So 1100. It's 1200. I didn't get that. Could you restate the question? Shh, sure. Okay, 1200. Then the gaji is 18,650. And then 3200. Minus 420, you will get 2,780. And then 3,100 minus 320, you will get 2,780. Okay, both 2,780, okay. Then the promo, 1,800 plus 420, you will get 2,220. And then your ala to this is... 480 plus 220, you get 700. Okay, then lastly, after you get all this figure in, pop in, then you jumlahkan and then you, you find your untung verse. So I think, so it's 38,250 minus the whole sum in your debit side here. Then get 9,920. This 9,920 will be your untung verse dipetokan. Right. So this is the answer for this question. Okay. So of course, uh, for your level, for form 4, you don't go up to this level. Lah. But this is a glimpse uh, for you when you're entering to form 5, uh, then you have something like this one, penyata untuk melaraskan, or penyata untuk menyediakan apa-apa-apa. Uh, this is something uh, that you're going to see in your form 5. Alright? So, is everyone done? If yes, give me a D in the chat box. If you are done. Done. Very good. Let me give you homework. So today your homework will be page two to one. Two to one. Question eight, nine, ten, since it's holiday, right? So let me. Give you up to 11. Okay, question page 221 8, 9, 10, 11. They all these are your. Eh, correct. Yeah, so all this is your account perdagangan dan account untung rugi penyata kedudukan kewangan questions. Okay. For, from your Bob Lapan uh, with together with the Polarasan. Okay, then for what we learned today will be page 140. Okay, and then do question 14. 14. Question 15. And question. Wait, uh, and no, no more for 240. And then you go to page, page um, 244 and do question 19. That's it. Okay. So total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven question for you for 
starting from today until next year. So you don't tell me you don't have enough time or it is too much for you. Okay. So uh, of course, what I've given you, the homework that I've given you, is you are not limited to those questions. Okay, during your free time, you can take out your book and let's say there are some more questions that I have uh, not asked you to do, then you can go and do it yourself. All right, if you want to get A for your accounting, if you are not aiming for A or A plus, then it's okay, up to you. Okay, for what I've given you is more than enough ready to pass or even get B. But if you want to get higher, then you do more on yourself during your free time. All right, is there any other question?